What is going on boys? It is me Quinkin and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Bayern Munich career mode. Yes, the January transfer window is open which means that we can make some signings and now that I have played with the team for around like 20 matches already, I know the signings that I want to make. If this video gets 100 likes, I will do a double upload today. So go ahead and smash the like. Let's get over 100 likes and I will take out another episode. So the main player we're going to go for is Alexi Sanchez, 89 rated from Arsenal. And we're going to try to sign him right now. Approach to sign. We're not playing any games. It does look like we're going to sign Alexis Sanchez. He is going to be making $290,000 a week. His squad role will be crucial and his contract length will be three years. But we're going to accept the offer that they want. So we are going to be getting Alexis Sanchez on his pre-contract. That is awesome. He'll be joining us next season. And if you guys saw the game PSG versus Bayern Munich, you guys know that we need a better backup keeper. They scored three goals on Sven Ulrich. So we're going to go for Loris Karius from Liverpool. He's German as well. So we're going to get a German goalkeeper as our backup. And I do not like Juan Burnett. So I'm going to go for Jeremy Tolian and Sinkraven. And if we can't get them, we'll try to get Antonio Lato. But the one I really want is Jeremy Tolian from Dortmund. Yes, we're going to steal another player from Dortmund. And the last player I did shortlist was Jose Campagna. I'm not really going to go for him. I just saw that he had decent stats. And if we want to make another signing, he might be one that I consider. But let's negotiate with Loris Karius and let's get this transfer window underway. So Bayern Munich, they wanted 26.4 million for Loris Karius, but we're going to go down and try to negotiate it to 21.4 million. They still won't budge, so we had to raise it up to 22.4 million and then we add a sell on clause of 10%. It looks like Jurgen Klopp can come to an agreement, so now we just have to go and try to negotiate with Loris Karius. Things are looking really good with Loris Karius. His squad rule will be rotation, he's gonna be here for four years, and we're gonna offer him $80,000 in weekly wages and a signing bonus of 350k. They come back and he only wants 71,000, but he wants a signing bonus. And if he gets more than 10 appearances, then he'll get uh, 700k. So, all right, we're going to accept that. And we get our backup goalkeeper that we needed. And Sven Ulrich is leaving at the end of the season. So, this either way is a position we needed to strengthen. Now, this is something I was not ready for. Manchester United paid 85.4 million for David Alaba. They paid for his release clause. And I'm getting tired of these release clauses, bro. Like, first we lost Boateng to Barcelona. And now we're losing David Alaba to freaking Man United. And now we just can't get a backup left back. Now we have to get a good left back to take care of Alaba. And if he accepts that, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pissed, bro. We got a bunch of snakes here in Bayern Munich. Please, FIFA gods, do not let David... Oh, he's sold. No. God damn it, man. Really? Oh, we're gonna have to get a high rated left back to replace Alaba because bro I'm not looking to get a youngster to develop him because we just need a good defender right now They took away Alaba from us So the player we're gonna try to get is obviously the second highest rated left back or third highest rated left back in the game And that is Alexandro He has a current value of 53.5 million. We have 87 million in the bank. So obviously um we're gonna try to pay less than what we have in the bank so uh let's go for a bid of 65 62 million no 65 million i think 65 million is fair i'm just trying to pay less than what we sold ala before all right they come back and they say they want 70 million Ooh, okay so we are obviously paying less for alexandro um you know what i'll give you 66 67 67 mil i feel like that's good enough bro all right so half the battle is won the club will be getting rid of alexandro now we just have to negotiate with them bro we will most likely be signing alexandro from juventus so his current wage is 190 he wants 210 and uh, he will have a crucial squad role for five years and uh, we accept that we make our left back signing and that leaves us with less money in the bank and uh, all this because David Alaba wanted to leave and went to Man United. So we get Alexandro. But in the midst of all this, we get an offer from Leicester City for Javi Martinez. He's been a great part of our team. He's been playing so well. So I'm going to reject that. We're not going to sell him. He is a very underrated and very good center back. But we're going to play this game versus Leverkusen in a way. 
and uh, I will end the episode there. We did a lot of negotiation, so I'm just gonna get into this game. We're leading the Bundesliga with seven points, so we're doing really well. Let's get a win here. This right here is a squad that will be facing Bayern Leverkusen. Neuer obviously in goal. Alexander will be making his debut as a left back. And we got Martinez and Hummels here, Vidal, Thiago. Coman will be the starting left mid from now on. You guys left a lot of comments that we should either rest Ribery or Robin, just bench them and put some young players to play. So Coman will be the new starting left mid. And uh, we got the dangerous and lethal Lewandowski up front as striker. I don't know how Alexandro is going to develop and adapt here in Bayern Munich, but he is the same rating as Alaba. And I feel like in that Champions League game last season versus Real Madrid, he really impressed me. He did really well and hopefully he gets accustomed to the lifestyle here in Bayern. And um, let's just do this, bro. Bayern Leverkusen putting the pressure on us. Oh wow, Coman's all by himself. The finishing! God damn it, Coman. I thought we, we worked on this. Yeah, go. Oh, yes, bro. Wow, great ball to Robin. And now he's in space. He has all the space in the world to go for the shot. And Burn Leno didn't have to do much. Oh no, Vidal's injured. No. Oh my god, looks like it's going to be a knee problem too. Taliso's going to come in from, but man, hopefully he's not out for long. This is how he got injured. He tried going for a shot and ah, his knee just got buckled there. The ball from Coman, Robin. Can't get to it. Thomas Mueller with Thiago. The right foot just goes wide. We're getting closer to that goal, boys. Oh, Mueller. That's all you, Mueller. The save from Leno. Another save. Can he do it? Come on. What just happened there? Was I really outside? No, I was not. Go with that left foot, bro. Lewandowski with the header. Ah, oh, what is going on, dude? We can't score. The cross from Bayer Leverkusen. What a shot from Yenvai. Werner. Kingsley Coleman back to Werner. The finesse, another save. Oh, great run from Werner. Yes, Werner! What a pair up right there with Lewandowski and Werner, dude. Literally in the last minute, we win this game. Oh man, that's good link on play, dude. Link up play and dude, Leno, he had our number all day long, but it finally took Werner that shot in the bottom right corner to give us the goal. Bayer Leverkusen's last chance of the game to get a goal. We just have to defend this out. Neuer with it. We're going to smack it out or throw it out, whatever we can do. And yes, we are going to win this game. Yes, boys, we win 1-0 and get the three points. But yes, if this video gets 100 likes, I will do a double upload today. So go ahead and smash the like. Let's get over 100 likes and I will take out another episode. But if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and uh, be a part of our squad here. We're trying to get up to 15K as soon as possible. But yeah, I've been clicking and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.